Welcome to the Linux video tutorials. We're going to cover the command line. And in this line, we're going to start by using a very simple command. It's called the ls command. ls simply stands for list directories and file contents. Once you have the terminal opened, type in ls and hit enter. You're seeing maybe not what I'm seeing because I'm at the root folder. To get to the exact same location where I am, go ahead and type in cd and then a forward slash. The forward slash stands for the root directory. cd stands for change directory. Then hit ls and you'll see what I'm seeing right here. Type in clear and hit enter and the terminal window is now cleared. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to show any possible hidden files. Now, I know that there are hidden files in my own home directory, but that's not where I'm located right now. I'm in root. To get to the home directory, we type in change directory and then a tilde, enter. Now I type in ls, and what I'm looking at is the directories, desktop, downloads, music, public, videos, documents, pictures, and templates. And there's one text file I've placed into this directory called ls.txt. But this also contains hidden files. Hidden files in Linux have a period at the beginning of the file name. ls allows me the opportunity to view hidden files. So what I do is I type ls and I use the a option. To use an option, you type hyphen and then the a. a stands for all, so list all, list everything in the home directory. After I hit enter, I now not only see what I saw before, but notice the various files that are in white and the various directories that are in blue that are preceded with a dot, a period. These are hidden directories. And so when we create a directory or a file that has a period at the beginning of the name, Linux is immediately going to consider that a hidden file or a hidden directory. Go ahead and type clear and then hit enter. So ls hyphen a shows all hidden files and directories. ls hyphen l is going to show directories and files in a longer format. So I type in ls hyphen l, hit enter, and now what I'm looking at <clears throat> is called long format. What we're looking at here is the set of permissions. We'll talk about permissions later. What I'm looking at here is the number of links to this particular directory. JCPartree, that's the person who owns this directory, that's me, and then JCPartree, that's the group that I belong to. So I even have a JCPartree group. This number here is the number of bytes that's the size of this particular directory. This right here is the date that this directory was last modified. And then this right here is the name of the directory itself. So what we have are permissions, which we haven't talked about yet, the number of links to a file or a directory, the owner of the file or directory, the group of the belonging to the file or directory that can access the file or directory, the number of bytes, the size of the file or directory, the date that the file or directory was last modified, and then the name of the file or directory itself. So I'm using Linux Mint, and in Linux Mint, the directories are in blue, bolded blue, and the files are simply in monospace white. Go ahead and type clear. So now we've looked at ls-a, ls-l. It's also possible to combine options. So if I want to show both long format and all files, including hidden ones, I type in ls-la, hit enter. And now I see all files and directories including the hidden ones in the long format. However, the order that you type in 
the options doesn't matter. I previously typed in ls hyphen la. I can also type in ls hyphen al. Clear the window, ls hyphen al, and it gives me the same result. So the order of options that you type in is actually irrelevant. This is a tutorial on the ls command in the Linux terminal system. God bless you, wherever you are today.